Mission Log, Entry Number 57 It has been 23 days since my arrival on Earth, and I still haven't seen any living humans. Although I did find another three bodies today, all in various states of decay. Personal note, it's heartbreaking. All this wreckage, all this destruction, and not one survivor. I'm beginning to fear the worst. This is Toulon, signing off. <sighs> Earth must have been a beautiful planet before the attacks. I would have quite liked to see it in its former state. Oh, here we go again. Receiving your message, Mothership. Toulon speaking. Yes, I know. I know. You want me to come back. I've already told you my position on this matter. I don't care. I volunteered for this mission because I wanted to help the humans. How can I say I did that if I'm not able to save at least one? Listen, I still have enough fuel on the ship for a couple more days of travel. I'll search until I need to restock. Got it? You can call this pointless if you want, but I refuse to give up. I believe I've said all that needs to be said. I won't be repeating myself again. Goodbye, Commander. Ugh. How can they just give up so quickly? I know there are more humans out there. There have to be. This planet had over 8 billion inhabitants before the war broke out. But we found so few of them. Wait, what's that? There's something on the horizon. <gasps> Smoke? Well, that either means it's a man-made fire, or it's more burning wreckage. Let's hope for the former. Okay. Not seeing anything so far. <gasps> oh, a human! And one right next to a fire. This is a great sign. I need to go out and investigate. Okay. Remember your training. Approach slowly and quietly. Make no sudden movements. Appear as unthreatening as possible. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them lying there, all adorable. Wait. Is it? Oh no. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Oh, I can't tell. Oh, oh wait, the pamphlet. Let's see. If you see a human lying still, they may not be dead. Due to humanity's large brains in comparison to their fragile bodies, they must engage in a ritual known as sleep, once per rotation. If a human is sleeping, they will exhibit the following signs. Closed eyelids. Uh, yep. Breathing which is noticeable through a combination of airy mouth noises and a chest that rises and falls. <gasps> yeah, I can see it! <laughs> mm, next, making noise such as mumbling, grumbling, or sleep talking. Please note that this does not always occur. Uh, I think that's what I'm hearing. Uh, yeah. If these signs align with the human in question, then they are indeed alive and simply sleeping! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I knew I would find one! I knew it! All right, uh, what do I do now? Hmm. Please note that interrupting a human sleep ritual is considered rude and may result in aggression. Be prepared to defend yourself. All right, <laughs> I've got this. To gain the attention of a sleeping human, begin by speaking to them in a soft but clear voice. I can do that. Um, hello? Little human? Can you hear me? Human? Hello? Hmm. Huh. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Ah, if this does not work, try lightly tapping them with an appendage. In order to avoid startling them, only tap the arm, shoulder, or leg. 
All right, then. Oh, oh, you're awake. Hi. Hello. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. No, don't be afraid. Please, I'm not like the ones that hurt you. I'm here to help. See? I'm unarmed. That's it. Lower your weapon. I promise I'm not here to do anything bad. I am Toulon, member of the Interplanetary Crisis Intervention Force. We came here because of the recent attacks from the government of Haythier. Our goal is to save as many innocent lives as possible, and right now that means you humans. Right. Your kind doesn't know the full story. It's rather long and complicated, but to put it as simply as possible... Uh... Capitalism. There's a very rich company specializing in military-grade weaponry that exists many galaxies over from here. This company has been bribing politicians to start needless wars with other communities in order to sell their arms more frequently. Not too long ago, they made the deal with the Hatherian government. Hathier would buy weapons exclusively from them to aid their colonization of other inhabited planets. Unfortunately, Earth was their first target. Human? A are you alright? I'm sorry if I did something wrong. I'm still learning about your kind social systems. Uh, let me check the pamphlet. When first interacting with a human, begin by introducing yourself. Afterwards, you should ask them what their name is. Oh, I'm so sorry, human. That was my mistake. What should I call you? Oh, that's an interesting name. I like it. Um, next. Proceed by extending your hand as an offer for a hand shake, provided you have hands. I have hands. Uh -huh. Here. You don't need to back away, little human. I promise I'm only offering you a hand shake. Look, I, I'll, I'll shake it. See? Shake, 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 shake. Alright, okay, I'm still a big scary alien to you. No wonder you're still hesitant. You don't have to do anything you're uncomfortable with. I apologize. Though I promise you don't need to be afraid of me. I only want to help. Uh, wh what should I do? Uh... Oh, here! In order to comfort a human in distress... You may offer physical affection in the form of rubbing their backs, patting their heads, and wrapping your arms or other such appendages around them for a hug. Note that you should always ask permission before touching a human. Alternatively, you could offer to listen to their thoughts. Please remember that even if a human declines, this does not mean they hate you. Oh, that's good. Humans are naturally untrusting of those outside their social circle. Interesting. Well, human, if you'd like, I can give you some physical affection. Or would you like to talk about your troubles? Perhaps both? You seem unsure. Am I correct in that assertion? In that case, what if I stand over here with my arms open, and you can come to me? Don't worry, I won't, uh, hug you until you hug me first. That's it. Just walk nice and slow. You're doing great. I promise you're safe with me. You're almost there. Oh, okay. Now, to follow the steps of that diagram, uh... Hmm. Does this feel right? Oh, I'm glad. You deserve to feel good after all you've been through. Poor thing. Oh my goodness, your face is leaking. Are you okay? Do you need medical attention? Tears? Is that a disease? Is it contagious? <gasps> oh, I see. When you're overcome with strong emotions, your eyes begin to just spew out water. How interesting. Are the emotions you're feeling right now good ones or bad ones? Good ones! Oh, that makes me really happy. I am so glad I could make your face leak, human! Hey, why don't we head back to my ship? I can get you some food, clean water, and a warm place to perform your sleeping ritual. Mm, the plan from there is quite simple. I will fly us back to the mothership, where they are currently safe housing around 200 other humans we've been able to rescue. Of course you're not the last one. 
There are many of your kind being sheltered, fed, clothed, and protected by the ICIF. Oh, why is your mouth curving upwards? Are you preparing to eat me? That is unnecessary. I have plenty of food for you on the ship. Ah. A smile. Oh, <laughs> I see. In that case, I am happy that I could not only make your eyes leak, but make your mouth curve upwards as well. <laughs> you have many teeth. You are making me feel like a professional at human social interaction. <laughs> Come on then, let's board my ship. You don't need to worry about anything anymore. You're safe now. I promise. <laughs>